Are any of the main characters ever going to die? Are the main, any of the main characters ever going to die? Oh, no. So depressing. <laughs> <laughs> read, the, read the fifth one and then we'll, we'll discuss. No. Oh. What's up everyone? This is June from Ever Never TV. A big thank you to everyone who made it out to the party at Books of Wonder in New York City on March 5th. It was my first time getting to meet SGE fans face to face. I interact with you guys in the message boards, but it was all made real when I was at Books of Wonder just blowing up balloons and so many people were just streaming in. When I was eight, maybe nine, the sixth Harry Potter book was just coming out and I remember going to the midnight launch of that and I got dressed up as like Harry Potter. Everyone was a fan of the book, so I kind of felt that same energy where everyone there at Books of Wonder was united by this shared love of SGE. So a reminder that Soman is now on tour. Make sure to check the calendar for a date and location where Soman might be coming near you. Going to see Soman on tour is so worth it because each time he speaks, there's unique questions and he gives unique answers that you really can't find anywhere else. Um, how did you think of Swans? It was because I had this um, recurring dream of like a field full of yellow sunflowers and then a blue one in the middle of it. And then I re realized somehow that what I was actually looking at was which is the defective one? Is it the blue sunflower or is it the yellow sunflower? Like which is the ugly one, which is the beautiful one, which is the good one, which is the evil one? And so when I was looking at swans, it's the same thing, right? Show a black swan to a group of kids. Half the kids will be like, Oh, that one's messed up, right? The other half will be like, oh, that's the awesome one. And if that doesn't convince you to see someone on tour, Twinanis, take it away. Hi, I'm Uma. And I'm Kadeen. And we're Ross. also known as the Twinanis. And you're going to be discussing the top reason to see our Uncle Soman on tour. Reason number one, you can get your book personally signed by him. Reason number two! <laughs> you can answer questions about them if you have any questions or you just want to do something about the book. And <laughs> finally, he can teach us about Lady Yaga and RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Valentina. Okay, right, remember to message Uncle Sol if you want more of us in his videos, and bye. Bye. Oh. Bye! <laughs> So some fun announcements. We finally have our recap challenge winner. Before we announce the grand winner, first wanted to go into a couple of honorable mentions. Number one, Aurelia Avalon, who had this really comic booky recap, summarizing a lot of complicated SGE plot into these like very funny meme -y moments. Next we have Sophie 8 A Agatha. I think I got that right. If not, the text will appear here. They had a really intricate recap that featured more characters than anyone's. They really captured the immensity of the SGE world and how the story is. Yes, it's about Agatha and Sophie and Tedros, but what makes the book so great is not only their story, it's like the surrounding rich world. Next we have Spirit Dream 1112, who had this very creative recap where they took pictures of stuffed animals as SGE characters, cut them out of the photos, sometimes put like masks and stuff on them, and overlaid it with text. And just the idea of using stuffed animals, it was like a really creative, unique recap that I hadn't seen. Our final honorable mention is Ivy Pool 2005, who had a really, really funny recap that was written entirely from Soman's point of view. So it did not feature any SGE characters. It was entirely Soman's head and I shared it with Soman and he just like cracked up because it was surprisingly accurate. So I was very curious how Ivy Pool 2005 put themselves in the head of Soman. Uh, but yeah, it was really hilarious and we really enjoyed it. Thank you again to everyone who submitted to this recap challenge. It was one of my favorite contests. It was like full of color and crazy novel ideas and the grand winner is... 
Art Heart. The details were really wonderful from these like snake-like arrows that lead us from each book straight down to the framing device for the entire recap, which is a thought bubble um, that leads down to a reader who's just clutching like a book, like ah, daydreaming of this beautiful SGE world. That is why we read books, right? Is it's to like after we've read them, feel like we have all these friends and this world that we visited. That was why we chose Art Heart as the grand winner because they captured the spirit of SGE and the feeling of reading them so well. So big congratulations to Art Heart and please send your mailing information to evernevertvchannel at gmail.com and we will send you your prize which is this beautiful one page color how to rule the school for good and evil poster. Tune in next week and we will go over trailer theories to look at some of the theories that perhaps were scarily spot on and some of the more crazy ones that maybe were a little off but were really funny and entertaining to read nonetheless. This is I'm June signing off for Evernever TV. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next week. Uh, thank you.